So the bison have been in the baleen for three days now. As you can see behind me, they've settled in really, really well. They're out there, they're exploring the woodland. They're doing all the stuff that we expect them to do and they're doing it so quickly. They've gelled together as a herd really, really well. The matriarch is definitely the boss and the other two are following her around wherever she goes. And sometimes you'll hear her calling and they will follow her. Um, so it's working incredibly well. So as you can see, they are nibbling on the trees. They've been rubbing against some of the um, non-native conifers. And if you go into the area where they are, you can see you know, big lumps of fur stuck in that bark where they've been rubbing against the trees. Um, you can even see the very start of where some of that bark is coming off. Um, and so what they'll do is with these non-native trees, they'll rub the bark off, create standing dead wood, which is going to allow the light through to the ground and cause natural regeneration of some of the thick conifer forest that's within this area. The other thing that you can see that they've been doing out there is bashing through this really thick, dense vegetation and creating pathways. And all along those pathways, they're eating the plants growing on the ground. They're clearing the sides so that they can fit through the forest very easily. But again, they're letting the light into the ground and they are depositing their dung along these pathways. And they're going to be fantastic habitats. They're going to bring in insects and reptiles and birds. You know, really important. Lots and lots of reptiles will love those areas. But also what you're doing is you walk through there, you can see where they're turning the ground up and they're creating open spaces of soil. And these are incredibly important habitats for lots of birds feeding and again for reptiles too. So just within three days, you could already see the impact that these guys are having on the forest that we really expect them to do. But it's just amazing to see it so quickly um, and so impactful in such a short period of time. So what's really impressive is that the corral system that the bison were delivered into, so really complicated, expensive piece of kit that we've built so we can manage the bison in the future if we need to. We've left that open to them and they've been going back in there sometimes. Um, so they obviously see that as a safe place to be. They're not frightened of it at all. So it shows that the management of them has been incredibly successful. We've managed to move these animals from various places without any anesthetic. Um, we try and do it in as calm a way as possible so that the animals are relaxed and there's no trauma at all. And that's obviously worked really well because the animals are quite happy to go back into their corral system when they want to and then walk out again. So when we need to bring them back in there, if we need to give, take blood tests or actually give them any drugs or anything, we can manage that really calmly without stressing the animals. It's a huge thanks to the players of the People's Postcode Lottery that have funded this project to get us to this point where we launch. But obviously, this is a really long-term project. We want these animals here for decades to come. And so we really need your help to help us continue this work and do other fantastic projects in the future. So please go to the appeals page on the website and donate if you can. This is fantastic work. It's really inspiring. And it's just a huge thanks to everyone that's helped us get to this point.